Hi everyone. On the early Tesla Model 3, I realized that when you signal, there's a bleed of light coming through the camera. I thought it was my rear signal uh, blinker uh, reflecting in, uh, on the side of the camera, but it's not. So I researched online and found out that it's actually inside the camera on the early models from 20s, the early models of the Model 3. So at the 2020, this thing still does it. So let's go ahead and um, I found a solution to this online. Let's go ahead and take out uh, the camera and I'm gonna modify and drill the crap out of it and cover those little holes on the motherboard or, or, or one of the, the PCB boards. So let's go ahead and uh, work on it. All right, so let's go ahead and remove, uh, not remove, but uh, get access through this um, signal light uh, camera by just, uh, you know, undoing this uh, fender liner and insert your arms underneath it. Or your arm, your hands, whatever, to get to this. All right, so removing this piece, there's four clips, two on the bottom that you need to pinch. And then right here, they're hooked on the top. Kind of like force that thing out but anyway it's off it's a little bit struggle to put them back on so you can see there's a little ridge right there that holds it down anyway uh, let's go drill this sucker up yeah it took me about a few minutes to remove this carefully from the inside and you know push out just push it out it'll come off just go ahead and squeeze those tabs and this is what you need to remove let's go ahead and drill them so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna point it out we're gonna be drilling a hole a three millimeter hole uh, depth from here right here and then right here basically do it right here where the tag is at and right over here at the end of the tag Siemens oh, I mean two lens I should say so right here right here three millimeters deep five millimeter wide so this is my five millimeter drill that I measured and um, three millimeter deep uh, hole so what we're gonna do is drill in there and it's not for the faint of heart guys so if you want to do this because uh, at night when you blink you know it's like it bothers me that I see a lot of the you know the glare so I'm gonna drill right now I'll be right back so there's a pilot hole that I created. Now we're gonna make those wider. So I'm gonna have to drill it wider and um, hopefully we won't hit anything in there. All right guys and gals. So when you have your pilot hole, I mean your holes. Uh, so this one is basically where you can look at the three holes on the motherboard. And this one is for the lens. So we're gonna add a little bit of tape in there as well. So it's hard to see cause my LED is flickering as you can see but if you look this way this way you can see the little i don't know if you can see the motherboard but let me brighten up the led light. i don't know if you can see it but um excuse my there it is oh there it is there now you can see the little there's there are three of them as you can see right there right over there those are the three holes that the light bleeds on. So let's go ahead and cover those tiny little micro holes. So you can see right over there. All right guys, so I tried the tape, the double-sided, and that it's really finicky to put it in there. It keeps falling off and not sticking on it. So what I'm gonna do is use my RTV. I made a little hole right over there. And let's go ahead and cover those little tiny hole again with my pointy, um, or you could use a, oh, you know what? Toothpick will be nice, but I don't have toothpick in my garage. So um, let's just use this guy right here and uh, carefully just insert it. All right, everyone. So I have put on silicone. I use, um, where's my cotton swab? Use cotton swab to clean up the inside and just fill up the hole. Oh, there it is, right over here. I just kind of insert it. It's kind of messy in there, but wait for it to dry out. Don't put it on when it's wet because, you know, silicone can still conduct uh, electricity because it's wet. When it's wet, there's liquid in it. 
you know electricity can travel so wait until it's fully cured and test it out so while you're testing it out maybe you can go ahead and remove the other one so this is the model 3 early um, you know um, what do you call this uh, video cam with signal housing on it and uh, light bleeds through it so also what you can do is maybe you can insert a foam and stuff it with a foam inside to block the light because the light is basically coming from here so maybe if you block it it may be reduced it from penetrating through the object so i think i'm gonna do that on the other one see test it out we'll see everyone so i covered the camera because it's daytime so uh this is how it looks like now so the one on the right is not treated the one on the i mean the one on the left is not treated the one on the right is the one that's treated i think it's significantly reduced as you can see the glare it's a lot less on here i know why there's a little bit left in there i think it's because um it still bleeds to the camera side as the guy stated uh, thank you for that uh, i forgot their website but uh, it kind of helps me a lot as you can see it's a lot better look at that there's a lot this is not treated yet look at that it's a lot less so i think i could do that at night so looks cool looks better and um, i'm happy with that result much better we tested everything everything works seems to be working better let's go ahead and cover that um there are two ways to cover that hole you can use your silicone i'm going to use a putty though go ahead and mix the putty and fill up the hole plug it up i actually have rubber plugs but i wanted to permanently seal it All right so it is plugged up hopefully there's no moisture going in there <laughs> wish us luck anyway that's how it looks like let's gonna let's wait it out until it kind of dries up before we put it in that's how it looks like all for that for the glare all that work for the glare guys look at that it's also a good time to scrape off all the sand and dust over here on the bottom it's all piled up that's actually weight added to your car so scrape it off look at that amount of dust or debris or soil whatever it may be clean it up so everything is on the car there's nothing much here oh i forgot to show you guys you might as well clean it before you put this back on but um anyway that's i um solved my issue on my tesla model 3 early model 20 i think this goes from 2018 to 2020. all right on the driver's side that's how the hole looks like actually here's my pilot hole let's go ahead and uh, make them bigger as you can see there's a tape on the drill bit so i don't go over it you can feel it when it's you know take your time punching that hole all right so we got the driver and the passenger drilled with that uh, five millimeter wide three millimeter deep so make sure you guys don't go over that okay or else we'll penetrate through and through and uh, destroy your motherboard so let's go ahead and uh, cover them both all right everyone so that is the left side as well and the bleed is not as bad as you can see it's not terrible it's there but it's I'm, I'm sure at night it's not noticeable when the video is on the reason why you're seeing that guys is because i have covered it with a tape so i can see it so there is the the right side hopefully at night it'll be okay so both are on i mean both are covered and um you know those tiny little holes and I'm glad that uh, I did this mod because uh, it bugs me at night. You know, it, it, it blinks and it makes this flashing colors of red and yellow. So anyway, um, it's not for the faint of, heart, faint of heart to do it. It's kind of difficult to do it. Reason for that is because if you drill too deep or too, you know, um, um, too big it might uh, touch the motherboard but anyway just be careful it's doable the bleed is not as bad earlier it was like you know blinking really but really bad so i'm quite happy with this result and this is the driver's side it's all done and buddied up you could actually use a uh, silicone if you want but it'll take a long time to dry but uh, let's put everything back. 
and here it is everyone um, at nighttime it's not so bad I don't have that glare anymore I didn't do a really good job covering this one I could go back and do it but I'm quite satisfied with that I can see very well the glare is not as much on the left side though I covered it pretty well so there's no more glare at night and I hope that helps you know it's kind of nerve-wracking but make sure you have a backup if you do this just in case you over drill it or you mess up anyway guys thanks for watching until next time please subscribe if you oh please subscribe and uh, help me out on my channel grow a little bit until next time god bless everyone thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye